Welcome to this video for Blossom Decay where I try to explain about the tutorial on how to get through the first 10 to 30 minutes of the game. So the first task that we're given is uh, getting a stick. They can be found on the floor here or later if you have a Felling eggs, you can get them from trees. Right now, I pop them from the ground with the middle mouse button or the R key and pull them towards me. Now it tells me to open my backpack with B, or you can also use these buttons here. And there you see I have two sticks. So then I open my crafting menu and um, add craft wooden stuff to my tasks. These are basically the tasks that will be done while you're offline. Right now he started crafting so my offline AI also switched on. You see that because this little icon is blinking. So right now the character would also defend himself and uh, yeah, would do basically the same stuff that that he would do if you leave him offline here. Let's switch this off for now. So now I have full control back over my character. And remove the finished task, and I have my wooden stuff here. So now the tutorial tells me open the backpack and equip the stuff. I have it. So now I can defend myself a little bit better. Okay, next step of the tutorial is to gather five berries, tomatoes or carrots. Berries can be found on bushes like that, but they're harvested already, but I can see some tomatoes over here. Again, press R or middle mouse button with, with the cursor over what you want to harvest, and there you go. Also pick the flower while doing that. Okay, and so you can eat any food by dragging it to this slot uh, here. Yum, 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 yum. Satisfy your hunger. If you're very hungry, you also get think bubbles over your head to inform you that you're hungry, thirsty. But as he didn't eat everything, he obviously is completely full by now. The character is always eating until he's full, then he stops, so we are covered for now. So next step in the tutorial, get three sticks. So get more of those sticks from the ground here. And craft a camp. So back to crafting. Often I switched on again as I added this task. So he starts to do stuff and campfire is pretty quick. I equip my campfire in the, in the hand slot and set it up here. Now you can open it by, by left clicking on it. Let's move these windows a bit more over here. Fuel campfire by opening it and dragging sticks into it. So every machine, every campfire, everything that you open has a tasks area up here as an indicator what's produ what it's producing right now. Let me switch the AI off so it's not, he's not wandering around. And has an inventory. So now I need more sticks to fuel the campfire. Let's get a bunch. 
Um, put them in here. <coughs> so. Okay, next thing is to create the rest and eat task. These generally let you go to the place where you set the task up. Uh, let you eat something if there's prepared food in the fire uh, and also will sleep when your character is tired so setting up this rest and eat task makes sure your offline character stays in the area and stays fit as long as as there's food left okay so next task is setting up a kitchen get one stick I'll get it from, from the fire here. Uh, when you pick up items, you can either left click them and get the whole stack, you can right click them and take half of it, or you can shift left click to get one, or shift right click to get ten. So I only need one, so shift left click and take a stick. Get three stones. Stones are pretty much everywhere here on the beach. And get a flint. Flints. And now we see this crafting area of the campfire. I have all the ingredients, so I set a craft stone kitchen task. <coughs> it puts all the materials in the fire, crafts the kitchen, takes it out, and says task completed. So you can remove it. Oh! He fell asleep. He's obviously a little bit tired, but for the sake of this tutorial, I guess we have to wake him up. Poor guy. All right, equip the kitchen in your hand. I mentioned it before, you always have to put things in your hand slot and then you can set them up with the right click. Next to you, and open the kitchen. And we have a fire in the kitchen going. So tells us to get one meat, five carrots or five tomatoes. So we only have one tomato left. So let's have a look if we find them. Ah, tomatoes. kitchen. With the space bar, by the way, uh, you can use stamina to increase your move speed for a moment, but uh, be aware if your stamina is empty, you stun yourself, so be careful. Okay, getting back to the kitchen, craft core base or side ingredients in the, in the stone kitchen. So, the food system in general is uh, you have ingredients, uh, and there are three categories. Uh, you have uh, vegetable stuff like tomatoes, uh, which is side ingredients, more the salad like things. Then you have stuff like bread, potatoes, which are base ingredients, and you have uh, meat and fish, and things like that, which are core ingredients. And you can you have to prepare them in the kitchen so now I have my tomatoes so I tell him to make side ingredients from tomatoes he puts it in and tells me it takes three minutes so preparing food takes a while but remember that you can do this <coughs> while you're offline too so uh, you just have to set up the task and then you can define the amount that you can should craft here. You can also set the amount to infinite if you go below zero. But we're good with one right now. Um, also for the tasks, if, if you bookmark something... Ah, yeah, right, let's go through the menus. Um, we have a help menu with a very helpful li link to the wiki here. We have our backpack which we already saw, the equipment slots, 
here are your bad things to eat. This is the machine I have opened right now. Then we have our skills list. This character is not new, so I already have some skills on, on a semi-decent level. But yeah, you can see it's the main trades, uh, blacksmith, carpenter, mason, cook, tailor, and which one's missing? Alchemist. I don't have alchemist. And then every every trade, every trade combination, like tinker, which is a combination of smith and carpenter skill, has its own recipes for the carpent the pure carpenter making like furniture and parts and stuff. Um then we have the crafting menu, which you already saw. Uh, we have the bookmarks. There you can bookmark things with this little flag. Like you can bookmark the kitchen. Uh, I, I could re rename it. My first kitchen. And now I could set it. Okay, it's stupid for the kitchen because I crafted in there, but I could set the kitchen as the source for this task, meaning that all the materials that this task needs, <coughs> he tries to get from the kitchen. Vice versa with the output, uh, so the result of, an, of the crafting task would be put in whatever I set up as the output. <coughs> But yeah, be be careful with setting the machine itself as output because this that can like create a loop and if you try to produce multiple instances of a product it might 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 fail a bit. So better put things somewhere else or or take them in your inventory. Like I'm doing in the moment. Okay, and then we have the community screen, which is from a sleep lady guy. Um, <clears throat> we have the community screen, which is under construction right now. Some channels, your clan memberships, your, your personal contacts. We'll explain this in another video. We have the map, where you can see where you are, and yeah plan where you want to go or communicate to others where to meet. And we have settings. Dude, are you not crafting this? Ah, okay. He finished crafting the side ingredients, so my tutorial now tells me to get 20 berries. I get berries from bushes like these. Again, pressing middle mouse button and holding it to drag items towards you or R key, alternatively. I have 30 of those. And craft basic drink. <coughs> so for a full healthy meal, you need uh, ingredients and you need something to drink. And if you crafted that, you can let your character eat while you're offline and stay, stay fed so, and rested. Drink is done, so do snacks from side ingredients. Can, as I said, you can do small snacks from core ingredients, from base, or from side ingredients. In our case, coming from tomatoes, we do it with the side ingredients. Oh, last point I missed was the settings screen where you can by now adjust volume, give yourself a different hairstyle or gender, hair color. You can reset or complete this tutorial if you want to restart or if it annoys you. You can configure the keys and you can sign out, but make sure to have sign up and create it, signed up and created a password first because otherwise you lose your character if you do this. OK, 
Okay, so small snacks almost finished. I think that's the right spot to wrap it up and uh, finish the first little tutorial video. Um, just when I'm ready to leave my character here with his snacks in the fire. Maybe I'll also try to hunt that rabbit later on. Okay. If he wasn't so sleepy, it would be faster. So he finished this. I put it in the campfire. I have some sticks there as well. With this icon over here, I can tell him to jump to the current task, so to switch on AI and prioritize this task. And he's falling asleep. So, I hope this made some of the concepts that you need to start in Blossom Decay a bit clearer, and um, I'll be back with the next video to prepare some, some armor and start my way north. See you.